All these shots have something in common, a trick and a technique that we're going to look into in this video, how to do it and when it's useful. Today we're going to talk about what I consider one of the most important skills in freestyle skiing, counter rotation, and the trick is called the shifty. It's so sick. You know, if you understand this, you can save an over rotated spin and under rotate the skis, land perfect. You under rotate the spin, rotate the skis a little faster, land perfect. You jump on a rail, you can use it. You're steady, you don't need to lock and you can still go off the straight. Uh, you can just do it because it's sick. Do a, you know, a spin, do some shifters in it, looks rad. You go mogul skiing, you'll use it, it's sick. You ride powder, you'll use it, sick. Uh, basically, you use it all the time if you know how to use it. So, um, to get you to understand the counter rotation, screw the poles. Without them, you can do a, a little bit like this one hand in front, one back. Oh, we get what a shit, shit, shifty, not in it. Like this. I think having one hand in front and one back helps you do shifty more. So pop, twist the feet, knees, hips, and then counterweigh that with the upper body and arms. Huh? A typical shit shifty. Show them that, show them that common mistake. What? What are you talking about? Like how you did it there? As you see here, you can even counter take a full 180. Sometimes I like to combine it. Like here, I'm winding up, but I'm setting off a too slow 180 so I can drag the tails in the snow for a little bit longer and then adjust the rotation using the counter rotation in the end. Sick right. <laughs> Basically what he's saying there is that you don't need to do this but I find that it helps people to like shift a bit more because you have a little bit more weight in the arms to like shift it more but you can also keep both hands in front and then shift it. Man, it, oh, I really hope you get this, because if you get the shifty technique right, it's gonna save you from a thousand crashes. Do you think that's true? A thousand crashes. It probably has saved me from a thousand crashes. How often do I ever cr crash on a rotation, Danny? Mm, yeah, not that often. I mean, really, really annoying to admit that it yeah. is not often. But to be honest with the rotation, to save the over rotation and under rotation. The shift needs to be combined as well, where you can open up the rotation like this. It's not pretty, but it makes you spin slower. Or you are spinning too slow, get this cool grab, let go of the grab, pull in, it's still not enough. Do some counter rotation at the end to hit the landing that's apparently in this direction right now. Huh? Hope you enjoyed this video about the most important technique almost ever. If you're nailing a sweet shifty, we show where you use this technique. Post a video of yourself on Instagram with the hashtag I stomped it and have a chance of winning some really nice marina gear from Smartwall. See you next time and have a good one.